Wow. This map is very big. <laughs> this map is very, very big. Okay, so we're starting in um, Devon, it looks like. This is Bristol-ish. We have Cardiff, what would be Cardiff, up here. Now, I don't know especially what Bristol is known for. With the train track going through, I, I'd like to think maybe it could be an industrial city. Bristol is historically known for being a hub for the transatlantic slave trade. Well, that sounds like we're gonna just pack in uh, a bunch of high-rise buildings and industry. Nice stream name, I managed to meet Corbin just yesterday. Wow. What an honor. Comrade Corbin himself. Build underground apartments where you keep millions of slaves. Can't zone underground, unfortunately. Well... You can't zone underground, but you can lower and raise the terrain, and then we just take a road that goes down, and then some people will just live in the hole. We're gonna build a jail down here as well. Like, if you break the law, you go into the hole. Oh, right, we need to rename this. Bristol. And this is Bristol Bristol's only redeeming quality. And that's the industrial area. <laughs> What's your address? I live in the pit. <laughs> Once you can expand the hole, put a district there and designate it cheaper for residential. Oh yeah! Just like, remove taxes for residential. Make it so anyone who enters the pit can't leave. We could um, make this road one way only. <laughs> Build a bridge over the pit. I should do that, yeah. <laughs> Just imagine, cross the bridge on our way to work every morning, look down at the people in the pit. You're never allowed to leave. It's like a giant prison. Coming Eventually. to you live from the streets of Denmark, it's Peter. Hey, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> How are you all doing? Has, has it been a good stream so far? It's been a pretty good stream. We've been talking about uh, not cats, Jojo. City planning. City, oh, <laughs> not as much about city planning. <laughs> Ironically, planning. you'd think. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, this would be one of those conversations where city planning would actually be a good topic. Yeah, luckily, you will get to qualify. No, I got a certificate which says I am a city planner. Well, I mean, I'm qualified hey. to be one. Hey, so what, um, what's your opinion on um, pits? What? Pits? The, pits. The pit. Just, uh, just pits to put people in. Oh! Um... Well, you know, it's it's an effective means of dealing with troublemakers, I suppose. You don't have to worry much about them if they're in the pits. Uh, it's uh, easier than you know, contracting a whole prison, I guess. You just have the hole in the ground, mm -hmm. occasionally throw some food in, and, well, I guess the rest will sort itself out eventually. But, um, well, what if they try to escape out of the pit, then? Oh, you build a fence. <laughs> This is why I'm, you know, went to like university for. Yeah. Four years. This is this uh, is what you learn. This uh, is the kind of quality solutions <laughs> I can provide for you. <laughs> when you go to university to be a city planner, they tell you if you build a big pit to put people in, build a fence around <laughs> it, so they can't escape. A really effective way of, you know, keeping prisoners locked up. Just uh, white people be all. Um, excuse me, miss. Can I sit excuse here? Excuse me, this man is <laughs> too spicy for me. <laughs> Mayonnaise is too spicy for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it doesn't get whiter than that, can be real. <laughs> if you agree that mayonnaise is slightly spicy, you might be right. It's not spicy, how is it spicy? It is, slightly spicy. No! That's what, that's what makes it good. It's, yeah, it, I Quite mean, it's vinegar, it's vinegar. You're, you're speaking of the vinegar, but vinegar isn't spicy. No, it, no, I'm talking about the mayonnaise. But... What, so what part of the mayonnaise is spicy? The eggs? Oh, yeah. No, just, you know, the mayonnaise. It's the whole... 
No, but there are base there are essentially two parts of mayonnaise. It's vinegar and it's eggs. Which of those is spicy? Yeah, you know, when you combine them, it gets a bit No, spicy. it's not when you combine them. The spiciness has to be in one of them. So which is it? Do you no, find vinegar spicy chemistry. or eggs? No, it's chemistry. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Our income is $480. We earn we almost earn as much from this one park as we earn from two toll booths. Oh wow. From just people walking to work. Because the pedestrian AI in City Skyline, we now earn $1,160 from this one park. Huh. That is like six toll booths. Because the, the AI in City Skyline loves walking. If they can walk somewhere and it's within a reasonable distance, they will always walk. Even if the the citizen owns a car, even if they have a, or no, not if they have a bike, they will bike. But even if they own a car, even if there's public transport, they will walk, if it is at all possible. And so, if you build a park, even if you set the entry fee to twenty dollars, they will always do it in order to get a shortcut to work. Uh, can you insane. can you turn to two parks and then set the fee to like twenty dollars each? Mmm, I could, yeah. Wait, we get rid of this one, because this is a side gate, and it's it's free to enter side gates. And we can't let that stand. So now, you pay $20 to get to work, and you pay $20 to go home. Uh, Jules, I don't want you to watch this part of the stream. <laughs> I'm horrified at what's going on, to be honest. But just I I, just close away. your eyes, please. <laughs> It's a, it's the best. It's literally the best. Dime, you know the candy? D A I M. Dime cake or pie? Uh, that's the one thing I'm jealous of in Sweden. Is you have that company to make other other pies. I get to try. Yeah. I have to say I'm rather horrified at the <laughs> this thing is you've made. <laughs> Shut up. What am I even looking at? <laughs> is this? <laughs> I'm, not, like I'm not used to left hand traffic. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Why? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is this? What are you doing? That's what that's what Danish roads look like. They're just they're just a mess. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just building a road. <laughs> <It's>... that's what... <laughs> it's effective. Oh god! <laughs> This is what highways look like, right? <laughs> oh god. This, this is what this is what roads look like in England. This is what left hand traffic work looks like, right? This is how it works. You just... Basically <laughs> That's more or less it. I'm just gonna scroll down a bit so I don't get distracted by that monstrosity in the corner. Oh, God. I don't know bad. what you're talking about, Jules. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just the highway. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's how highways work. Yeah! It's a highway ramp. It's so that you can get in and out of the industry area. Yeah. Yeah. 
that's just that's just how it works. Look, yeah. look, this road is for uh, going in to the city, and then this road is for coming out. So from that way, and then and also there's traffic lights <laughs> at the at the beginning, so all of the cars will stop <laughs> before they continue on. And then, then this road is for coming in, so from all the cars coming from over here, they can go in here very easily. And then if you want to go out, you just go up and over and around, and then you do a, like six turns. And then you're out. Yeah! It's so Lovely. straightforward. I don't know how you don't understand it. Yeah. That yeah, that's true. You got a point there. There's some fuel on my end. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you're silly. supposed to be the person with the education in city planning. Yeah. I don't know how you've never seen the classic up and around highway ramp <laughs> design. No, that's a good point. That I mean, this is textbook. Nice sharp, you know, 180 degree turn there. It's yeah. Good. I'm going to take this park and just go a step further it's over the industry area so we're just gonna have this giant bridge <laughs> Look, seeing it's, it's, oh, it's a pedestrian bridge <laughs> it's so that you can walk to work that's what you city planners like isn't it being able to walk uh, to work true actually yes I, I would i would actually support this yeah you would you would build this yeah, I, I would. I like how the tall road basically just gives you a wonderful view of the pollution going on next <laughs> yeah, as you're walking you past. see all the air you're breathing in. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's just a bunch of factories and you just by the uh, fumes. Yeah. If you live on the top floor in this house, in the pit, you're almost at ground level. Oh, hey. Nice. Like that top sort of balcony is going to get so much trash thrown on their balcony. <laughs> people walking across that bridge. 44 people a week. Take the blimp. <laughs> well, this, this could be worse. There's so I mean, many people waiting for the blimps. Because it's the only way to get to the other city. <laughs> But there are just not enough blimps. So these people have literally been standing here, waiting to get on a blimp for weeks. Nice. <laughs> We're here today with Timmy, who's been waiting for a blimp for a week. Like, a blimp can only carry 35 people. There are probably like 300 of them waiting on the ground here. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, would we ever go on the blimp? <laughs> there are more of them just coming all the time. Just look at this. That is easily like a hundred people coming just now, waiting for the blimp. Like, please, just take the train. I beg of you. We ever see Papa again? Papa has gone to work. See him in a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to make it easier to get to the train in like a million different ways. Uh, like, must you go off to work, Papa? Oh, you See you in a few years. Like yeah, <laughs> back at um, Christmas. <laughs> People just seem to be preferring the blimps, and I don't know why. <laughs> they probably have nicer seating. Yeah, got well, a good yeah. view. Actually, above the pollution in those things. Go faster, <laughs> Captain, we have 5,000 people waiting. <laughs> <laughs> There's a giant walking, walking, walking across the path <laughs> over a lake of literal shit. Yes. <laughs> 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 this, this city rules. <laughs> God awful city imaginable. Oh wow. What does the chat think of Star Trek? Uh, yes. Like this video if you like Star Trek. Yes. I mean, yeah. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear your feedback. Yes. Which is your favorite episode of uh, Star Trek The Next Generation Season 1? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there are fairies going across the lake made of poop. 
I had not even considered that yet. <laughs> this is horrifying. <laughs> I would prefer taking the boat though over walking over it. But, uh... Well, today, today the poop fairy had its grand inauguration. <laughs> The great leader really knocks it out the park with this one. <laughs> there, there are so many systems of public transportation between these two cities <laughs> and, and nowhere else. Some risk of getting and, to one. Yeah. But you didn't you didn't count on the loyalty to the blimp system. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah, I'm seeing a lot of money. One and a free just as many people, ideas. just as many people are still move. using the blimps. Like it's... none of this has decreased the amount of people using the blimps. Yeah, well, the blimp <laughs> the is the city of the future. Which, the thing is that the blimp gets you like the furthest away from the lake of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the air, you're like away from it. Look, so. look at the way the fairies move, it does look like they're navigating through shit. <laughs> oh, so bumpy and clunky. There's been talk of unionizing among the blimp captains, which the great leader <laughs> swiftly struck down upon with great justice. <laughs> guys, <laughs> guys, <laughs> my income from public transport is two thousand dollars and my expenses are sixteen thousand <laughs> but can you really put a price tag on the joy of standing in line for a week and waiting for a blimp? I have to I have to recognize that amazing comment by Letner. The blimp line has a birth rate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this one comment is good as well. Bread lines broke, blimp lines woke. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sayonara, au revoir. For that ah, fucking I, boss. Fucking I. Yeah, uh, you know that one episode of Doctor Who? Uh, with the highway? It's like a massive traffic jam, and if like you go on the highway, you're oh, not yeah. expected to come back. That's such a great episode. You're in like, like in a traffic jam for like years. And by the time you arrive, you're like old. Can I make an island in, in the in the um, lake, and make make an island in the lake of shit, and then um have someone live there. That's a good idea. <laughs> I will do that. I question who elected this person as mayor, but okay. <laughs> Elections? What are you talking about? <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> yeah, obviously no one elected would make this. <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck would elect me? <laughs> Yeah, no, okay, hear me out, people. I got this great idea for public transit. I call it <laughs> blimps. Blimps <laughs> over a lake of shit. Okay? <laughs> now, you might think that's insane. Yeah. Imagine. It's going to draw in, you know, tourists. It's going to get in those creative people. You know, who want to see something different. Who want to experience something new in life. You know, it's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of job opportunities and creating, you know, the islands of shit in the land. And like the, 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 yeah, basically the island of shit and like the lake of piss. You know, it's going to be great. I like to imagine no that, that city meeting, that city meeting where he proposed like, the city of shit, <laughs> or like the, the lake of shit. So, yeah, okay, hear so me out, everyone. Hear me out. Okay. Oh Go my to... god, I never realized. <laughs> You're gonna see it in a minute, but there's like a fog rising out of the lake of shit. It's like a <laughs> thick fog oh of god. pollution. <laughs> All the trees are dying. <laughs> uh, and I just sown some residential on this island of shit. So we'll see if anyone moves in. Oh, 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 a house is being built. Someone's moving in. <laughs> the Ivy Residence. Could you imagine taking the poop fairy to work every morning? I mean, the person who lives here has to take the poop fairy... Or the poop cable car to get to the clinic, to get to the school, to get to the work, to get to a police station. Like, there's nothing on this island except the cable car and a house. If they want to get to a commercial district, 
Like, they have to go grocery shopping by going on the cable car. I'm gonna make this its own little district, and I'm gonna lower the taxes. Let's see. Yeah, make it just free to live there. <laughs> this is essentially Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> free oh my god the 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 island of shit is going to be the only place in the city that has free wi-fi <laughs> <laughs> my name is hate yours man <laughs> oh <my> shit <laughs> island <laughs> It's the only place in England and Wales that has free Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> and it now has a bouncy castle. This, this is truly a socialist uh, utopia. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't you want to live in Oh my god, I can just see the blimps in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Great view of the city's public transit system. Okay, now there's a blimp stop. Just gotta connect it up. Yes. The glorious leader has added a blimp stop to Shit Island. <laughs> In case you want to visit the bouncy castle. <laughs> and get some of that sweet, sweet free Wi Fi. <laughs> Never mind the fact that there's been like a traffic jam for like years at this point that I have never <laughs> attempted to fix. There's no need to fix it. I think it's the I'll cargo train the terminal that's causing it. I'll just be rid of that. Okay. <laughs> Wait, get rid of the cable car. No, 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 the the cargo train. No, I mean for like the shit islands, and I can only use the plane <laughs> to get all enough. Oh, okay. So the, the only way to get there is with the plane. <laughs> All right. I'm still I'm still chuckling at that. It's basically Cleveland <laughs> comment. <laughs> ah, God. So someone said, uh, Clovis says that uh, this reminds uh, Clement of an island in the Menai Straits, Wales, near the town uh, that's about the size and has one house on it, a real treasure. Oh, okay, does is is it surrounded by shit? Yeah, that's a real question. Is it next to like five sewage dumps or uh... Okay guys, guys, guys. They're eco water outlets. They're environmentally friendly. Uh, okay. By clean coal. Yeah. That's clean shit. <laughs> it's clean shit. <laughs> Still have yet to see the this oh uh, seven people living in in the shit house. <laughs> there are three children and four adults. Wait, wow. children? I once had to raise your kids on shit island. Yes, they had kids on shit island. <laughs> Wait, great. oh, hang on. This is a problem. What? Um, I have like um my live chat. It's like it removes um, inappropriate comments, so people can't talk about shit island. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the first blimp. It's arriving with 35 passengers. <laughs> oh, the first commercial building on shit island is a stand-up club. <laughs> <laughs> so about so the shit. <laughs> What's up with That's that? So <laughs> this comedy That's club really stinks. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes write themselves, chief. Oh no. HLM says rename the club. Rename it to what? Shit takes comedy club. <laughs> shit takes comedy. I like to imagine. I like to imagine the people that live on Shit Island ordering something from Amazon and having to put in like, "I live on Shit Street on Shit Island." <laughs> <laughs> this comment rules. Why is our dear leader putting so much energy into this island of human feces? 
<laughs> there are medical rescue helicopters coming to save these people. <laughs> because they're all dying from the pollution. And on the news today, Dear Leader has released a telegram saying there's safe levels of excrement on shit island. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get rid of all these public transport systems now. Yeah, except, except the blimps, the blimps and the trains. I like that Jimmy gonna... James calls this austerity measures. Exactly. <laughs> 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 totally. Shit island has been a real train on the economy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it literally like has been cup. a drain on the economy. <laughs> Imagine how Fox News would spin this whole situation. <laughs> <laughs> An they, island well, called Shit Island with a comedy club on it? That's like <laughs> the most anti-Fox News thing I can think of. Uh, <laughs> and that's where all the public money is going to. And that's where they film Saturday Night Live and The Daily Show. <laughs> 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 oh no! Oh, geez, There's not enough up. shit. <laughs> <laughs> in the lake for the ferries. Oh no. <laughs> the shit lake really? has dried up. How? <laughs> I don't know. I think all of the sewage is being pumped into the sea. The great shit drought. Yeah, just, just put <laughs> <laughs> The great shit drought of 2023. Let's <laughs> be the great leader who brought the shit back. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, 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 look, look, think about it. You are restoring, you know, that, that ferry captain's job, you know. You're saving the ferry industry. You're just putting up propaganda posters for people to shit on. <laughs> uh, this is stimulus, you know, it's a stimulus spending. You're trying to save the ferry industry here. <laughs> Shall we still be slaves and work for wages? It is outrageous, has been for ages. Oh, this earth by right belongs to toilers and not to spoilers of liberty. The master class is small, but they have lots of gall. When we unite to gain our right, if they resist, we'll use our might. There is no middle ground. This fight must be one round to victory for liberty. Our class is marching on. Shall we still be slaves and work for wages?